Speaking of fellow countrymen, Virgil van Dijk, um, obviously the European Championship, the Euros just finished. A relatively successful Euros for the, for the Dutch side, I would say. However, Virgil van Dijk once again has come in with some criticism for his performances in the tournament. Of course, he's captain, he led the team. What have you made, Ryan, of the criticism in the Dutch media? Because it never seems to stop. It feels like it's constantly about van Dijk, his performance here, his performances and leadership qualities. What's your opinion on it all, really? You know what? I feel like, you know, the the Dutch media always try to find someone to blame. Um, you know, they they you would almost believe that they they did not support the Dutch team, you know, the way they've been writing about a Dutch team. Um it's it's unfortunately um the way the Dutch media is is being programmed, you know, uh, even if they would play an amazing job uh, a game they would still try and find reasons why it could have been much better or or why it was not good enough. Um, yeah, eventually, you know, they had ambitions to, of course, like any other major nation, to 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 reach the final. It didn't happen, and then, uh, yeah, someone uh, needs to be the blame for it, right? And and uh, Virgil was one of the major players that uh, you know they criticized alongside Memphis and and, and a few other players. Um, I'm sure uh, you know it didn't bother him. He is used to it, but uh, yeah, it's of course very. Annoying to see that um, once things don't go well, it's easy to point fingers. Yeah, absolutely. It's especially frustrating when he's somebody so important, somebody so brilliant as well, and he's the captain, of course. He has come out after the tournament and said he's going to take some time to think about his future, club level and internationally. It'd be a great shame if he did sort of hang up his boots for the, for the Dutch team, wouldn't it? Like, that's probably the last thing I imagine most people in the Netherlands would want. Yeah, no, I think I think Virgil still has so much to give to 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 his nation. I believe, um, and 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 of course, uh, you know, I think uh, he still is very important for Liverpool. Uh, but as a player, you know, I can relate. Sometimes you you just wanna after a long uh, season, you wanna you know lay out your thoughts, uh, talk with your family. How do we feel? Uh, what do we see for our future? Um, at the end, also, it's his career. We have to respect if he if he changes his his way of thinking. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's really a normal thing as a player to do after a very very long season. Yeah, absolutely, and it was a very long season for Van Dijk. The minutes were just astronomical that he played. Yeah. So I can't yeah. blame him for needing the rest and wanting to consider things. Absolutely, and just yeah. finally, Ryan. Cody Gakpo, one of the success stories of the entire tournament, really, not just from a Dutch perspective, absolutely outstanding, made that left wing goal his own, goals, assists, just brilliant performances, just phenomenal. I mean, from a Liverpool point of view, speak about his performances as well, but it feels to me like last season he played a little bit there, he played a little bit in midfield, a little bit centre forward. I think now... Oh, the slot might have to look at that European Championship and go, I need to play this lad at the left wing and he needs to sort of nail down that spot as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, for, from personal opinions, um, it's it's always to try and find and put the players on their on on their positions also in in sync with the rest of the players, right? And obviously, you know, Liverpool is not the same way of playing as in you know the Dutch national team, uh, a slightly different approach, um, different type of games, of course, Premier League, uh, international Euro Euro games are. Slightly different, uh, different preparations. Um, sometimes it happens, you know. Players find a little bit more of their form and shape in in a different setup. Um, I think right now it could be a fresh start for him under a new management. Um, um, maybe the advantage that the the, the new coach is Dutch. Uh, but again, you know, I think everyone can recognize Cody Gakpo's talent. Um, you know, I think uh, still very young. Um, I think this will be was is this will be his third or second season. This will be his third season, but half of it was he joined exactly. in January, didn't okay. he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, you know, he came from Holland, and 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 often people, um, and I remember also for myself the the stuff from Holland to Premier League is is massive. Mm. And to understand the English way of playing, the English way of thinking. Uh, what is required to make it in England? Uh, some players just need a little bit more time. That's just unfortunately how it is. And I believe now, after his time already, I understand. I, I'm sure he understands um, now what has been asked from him, and I'm sure he he he's now on holiday, preparing mentally for for a great season, a new season. He, I'm sure he wants to be more important, um, and and I'm sure he has more to give to Liverpool. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you can carry some of that form from Holland into the Liverpool side, we'll be a uh, we'll be absolutely flying. And the Dutch connection grows ever stronger at Liverpool as well, which is nice right. to see. I'm sure. Um, yep. Ryan, absolutely top man. Thank you so so much for your time. Massively appreciated. Everybody else, I'll see and speak to you all again very soon. Take it easy.